welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to try out this brush from silver brush it's from their silver crystal line and it's called a pointed oval but it looks like um, a filbert brush so the size is 3 4 inch and it looks like this okay so we're gonna try to paint using this brush on um, this small paper. This is just 7 by 10 inches. And this is the Baohong Artist Paid Paper. I'm going to be using my um, reference book, from the Flower Color Guide. And um, this is going to be my inspiration for today. Okay, so before we start, it's best to spray your paints with some um, water. Just so that they will be soft and then i also just discovered this beautiful color called pale rose blush so it looks like um looks like shell pink if you have that color in your watercolor this is a gouache but i'm gonna use it as um as watercolor today i just really like the color and i wanted to show it to you guys Okay, so it looks like this. You can see it's like a skin tone color, but it's really nice. Alright, so I'm not sure if you can hear the background, but it's super rainy today. Okay, I'm just going to grab this color. So, this brush feels really soft. It's my first time to try it right now as I film this video. So, I'm giving you my first impression review. And you can see that it's really soft also i think the bristles are quite long and slender it's not uh it's not a dense brush so let's try it okay, we need more water you can see that you have a really beautiful pale pink like a peachy color it's really nice i also have here you can see this opera rose it looks scary on the pan it's a really bright pink color but you can mix it with this pale pink color just to add um, just a pop of color so you can see it still looks soft So far, I am loving this brush. It's very soft and it really follows my movement. And also what I like is that it's a short handle brush. Alright, so we can add a little bit of yellow. I have a leftover um, yellow here. It looks like permanent yellow deep. So we're going to mix that. And then we're going to paint... One more flower over here. You can do um, a rose bud. You can second paint um, thin strokes using the tip. I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm going to paint the body of this rose. And add some more water. Just gonna add a little bit of blue and kind of add it towards the edges. Then let's grab some green.
part because it doesn't look that nice. Blot it out. Okay, I think it looks better. Alright, so we can start to layer our flowers. Um, we can start with this one. So, when you're using gouache, the thing is that it will look matte. You can see it looks matte and a little bit powdery. It has that look. So, I just wanted to let you guys know in case you're doing this style as well. So for this part, I'm going to grab my size 6 round brush and just add some details in the center. I'm going to add some burnt sienna. Okay, so the details here are very small and um, I can't use this brush because it's too big. So sometimes you have to really switch to a different brush. Alright, so now let's move on to this part. And just wanted to like separate some of the petals. Let's grab some more of that violet. Just gonna mix it here. Add some more water to dilute it. If you guys can hear, it's just a loud thunder. And right now, I'm just going to add some more details on the leaves using a smaller brush. So I'm using um, sap green with sepia. And we can add just a small bud right here. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed experimenting with me. So for this brush, I actually love it because it's quite soft. Okay, sorry for that noise. So it's not as dense um, compared to the Bloom's brush um, from Princeton. So I think um, for my style, I think I prefer this brush more because it's a short handle brush and the bristles are quite soft as well so i hope that you can also try out this brush for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video bye